Hi, Gemini. This is going to be your general love reading for October. But it's timeless, so whenever you find it, it's for you. No worries, Gemini. So it's spooky month. You know what that means? That means, boom, I'm breaking out my spooky tarot. I got it ready. I also have my light seers tarot just to even things out. And I have my earth magic cards <clears throat> right here. And my gypsy witch tarot, not tarot, gypsy witch fortune teller cards. So we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. I've already cleared the space with my sound bell. So the energy has been cleared. I just read for Taurus. Now we're reading for Gemini, calling in Gemini's spirit guides, calling my spirit guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock and roll. What does Gemini need to know about their love life for October? Focusing specifically on October. But again, like I said, this energy is timeless. So whenever you stumble upon it, it's for you, Gemini. All right, what's up? What's up with Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. What do we got for Gemini, please? Wow, Gemini, what the hell are you saying goodbye to? <laughs> That's Eight of Cups. You saying goodbye to someone or something. Woo. Oh, look it. But you're happy. You're happy to let go of it. <laughs> you Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, his ass, right? You said bye-bye, bitch. <laughs> but look at that. You're celebrating. You're not letting it get you down. Whatever you decided to say goodbye to in this relationship, whoever you decided to say goodbye to, you are not upset about it at all. They probably deserved it. You don't mess around with a Gemini. Look at that. You're no longer focused on the past. This feels like someone from your past, though. You've sufficiently let them go, whoever it is. You're like, I'm done. I'm done with this past soulmate connection. I'm moving forward. Let's see what else we got for you, Gemini. You made the right decision. Spirit guides are confirming it. Because look at this. You have a new connection coming in, Gemini. King of Wands. Kang. Dang. All Lang. A new connection. This big dick energy, Gemini. Fire sign. Leo, Sag. Um, what's the other fire sign? Aries. Tell me more about this connection, spirits. The other person left you feeling ignored. They left you feeling out in the cold. All right. Tell me about this King of Wands energy. What is the energy surrounding this person and this connection, please, Spirit? <clears throat> wow. Okay. This, they, you probably already know who they are, Gemini. This is the card of work. So you either met them at work or you're going to meet them through work. Or they're going to work with you somehow. Wow. So, yes, this is work collab. <laughs> it's three of pentacles. I have a feeling you're going to meet them at work. Or they're going to somehow stop into your job. Um, somehow. And <sighs> this is work related, Gemini. It's a work related connection. Okay. The energy surrounding that person is work flow energy okay oh man gemini oh man gemini all right look there you are on the bottom of the deck that's your energy the lovers it's gemini card all right we're gonna pull some more cards about this connection so how does gemini let's see well i don't know if you know who they are yet so i'm just gonna say how you feel about this person but Okay, well, let's do this. For those of you that know who this person is, how does Gemini feel about this person and this connection? We'll do that. We'll do this, the energy surrounding Gemini and this person and the connection, okay? Gemini's energy in regards to this connection. If they know who they are. For those that know who this person is. Card flew out. Page of Cups. So you kind of feel like you know who this person is, all right? You feel like if they made an offer, that you would accept it. 
but you kind of feel like it might be too good to be true. Like there's this energy of, I'm not sure. They feel like they're good, too good to be true. I'm not sure they're really into me. So I feel like there's a little bit of doubt there, Gemini. See how the pig is flying? It's like, you're like, oh, when pigs fly, this person has connection, you know, has feelings for me. But they do. Look at that. There's the heart. They're thinking about you constantly. The Page of Cups is someone like the hopeless romantic that sits there and dreams and dreams and daydreams about something. They're in their head about you, this new connection. And this is the card of Pisces. It feels very, you could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They've definitely thought long and hard about this. They kind of feel like you're too good to be true, too. Can I just say that? Damn, look. They're very freaking stable. They have a lot of financial stability. They're kind of a loner, too, Gemini. So the King of Pentacles is like Earth sign energy, but it's the energy of someone who, look, financially stable. Um, the, the wolf represents like loner energy. So they're very, very stable um, financial or otherwise, um, and they've spent a lot of time alone, Gemini, a lot of time alone. So they, they're very wise. They've been doing a lot of self work. They know what they want. They know who they are. This is the energy of someone who's very seasoned. You know, the person here has white hair, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're older. They could be older, but to me, what this means is they're really, really wise. They've done a lot of spiritual work on themselves. And so, you know, they know who they are. What else can you tell us about this connection? Boom, Gemini. Wow. They're making a choice to come towards you. This is your energy as well. The lover's card is Gemini. It's the card of Gemini. It's the major arcana ca card that represents Gemini. But look, the lover's is about a choice. They've already made their choice. They've done the daydreaming. They've asked themselves what they want. And they know what it is. And it's you. They feel a very strong magnetic pull towards you. Look at the connection between those two. Can you see it? Let me show you again. Look at that. It's a beautiful, deep connection. It's a spiritual connection, Gemini. It's a soul connection, okay? You're drawn to each other because you're both spiritual. Wow, look at that. Ace of Wands. Lots of fiery, passionate times. Lots of passionate sex too, Gemini. Ooh, you are in trouble with this one. <laughs> they are very heavy fire sign energy. But here's the thing. They have fire and they also have earth in their chart. You guys are going to do lots of fucking. Lots of fucking, Gemini. They are very, very passionate. So the, the main energy surrounding them is like fire, passion. They want to offer you a relationship. Ace of Wands is like the relationship energy. Wow, look at that. It's going to come in quick. <laughs> Before the end of October, I would say within the end, probably the end of the week, maybe the end of next week. If not the end of this week, the end of next week. Eight of Wands is fast, more, fast moving, quick energy. We're going to get one more card and we're going to be done. Ooh, they want you. There's all sorts of fire sign energy coming out this person. They are cray cray. <laughs> they want you. Wow. And look at that. Both of you guys have done the soul work. You guys have soul shine. So this is the card of you've already done the inner self work. You've judged yourself and you've found yourself lovable, right? It's about doing the shadow work, right? We have to first see ourselves clearly and judge ourselves clearly in order to fix the things that we know need to be fixed. So this is about learning from the past, learning about learning from your shadows, who you are, because you've done the work, Gemini, you're bringing in this connection. Wow. Whew. 
Oh man, yep. That's some good energy. All right, let's get some earth magic cards for you, okay? What else do we have for Gemini, please? What do we got for Gemini? Wow, lightning power. Wow. Yeah, see, I told you, lots of fiery passion. I'm going to call your reading um, Powerful Connection or Power Couple or something like that. Or it hits like a bolt of lightning. Look at that. Wow. So this is about you... Um, restructuring your light body this is dna it's also about clearing all that karma so in order literally to meet your twin flame you have to literally clear all of your karma with past relationships you cannot go into a twin flame connection or any deep spiritual connection without first clearing past karma with other partners once you've done that you are allowed to draw in your twin flame or a really deep spiritual connection. And I feel like this is where you're at, Gemini. You got the lightning, which is a, a powerful card. You've cleared all this karma. And I keep hearing crystalline DNA. So you're probably in the process of activating your light body, which is another step in the twin flame or spiritual connection. Okay. Oh my goodness. This reading is giving me chills. Wow. Look at that. Another twin flame um, symbol. Rainbow blessings. This. Wow. Okay. I don't want to say definitely for sure that this is a twin flame connection, but it feels very twin flamey. I'll just say that, Gemini. We got the DNA karma clearing. We got rainbow blessings. This, in this deck, the rainbow to me represents a twin flame connection. This is a really, really beautiful connection. Oh, you are going to be so satisfied with this person. I'm telling you. Claim all that shit, Gemini. Don't let that shit go to waste. I don't even know which one of these to take. Okay. Focus on nurturing yourself. Okay. Get outside in nature. Speak to the earth. Okay. And let all of this unfold how it's supposed to. We have lotus flower unfoldment. So that means don't stress don't try to push anything. Don't try to control anything. Focus on nurturing the love inside of your heart. I know you are big love, Gemini, okay? You are big, beautiful love. And let everything unfold how it's supposed to, okay? It's going to happen naturally because this connection is way too powerful to not unfold. All right? Holy shit, Gemini. All right. I'm going to call this, it comes in like a bolt of lightning. All right, what else do we have for Gemini? I'm going to pull some cards for you from the Gypsy Tarot deck, and we're going to be done. So we have loss. So... This connection's coming because, you know, you had something that felt like a loss and the universe said something better, something way better than you thought, all right? You had to, you had to lose something that felt like a really, really strong connection in order to get this connection. So you probably recently had a false twin and it felt very, very, like a very deep connection, but it wasn't real. 
Look, possibly this person is in the military. We have officer. Or they could be some kinds of law enforcement. Maybe they're a cop. Maybe they're a security guard. I feel like that's how you'll know. There should be your confirmation, Gemini. Or maybe you're maybe you're um, a military person. Maybe you're you've been in the military. Maybe you're a police officer, a security guard. If this is a masculine I'm reading for, or even a feminine, either your person or you are some kind of um, law enforcement, okay? That's how you'll know that this reading is for you. Don't doubt it. Claim it. Wow, I told you the connection is going to lead to marriage. I'm not lying. Mark this reading down on your calendar. October 4th. Is it October 4th? October 4th, October 5th. I don't know what the date is. Write it down. Mark it on your calendar. This is the day that Chakra Bunny um, predicted my marriage. I predicted my mother's marriage to my stepdad. And they have been married for almost 25 years. Mark it down. I'm never wrong, Gemini. I don't care if you believe or not. And look, bottom of the deck, you have message. See? It's coming in. Wow. It's Hermes. It's Hercules. Hercules. Hermes. Eh, maybe Hercules. I don't know. The messenger god. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. Um, I'm going to be at the Gemstone Hideaway Hut, October 7th and 8th. Please, if you want to book a reading with me, um, please call in advance. The owner's name is Sherry. Um, it's spelled C-H-E-R-I. And the Gemstone Hideaway Hut is in Lansing, Michigan on Kalamazoo Street. You just got to Google it and you can find it. Please book in advance because I'm filling up very quickly. And I want to be able to get as many of you um, taken care of as I can. I'm only going to be there Saturday and Sunday and I'm traveling from where I live to Lansing. So, you know, this is just, um, for that weekend for Sherry's one year anniversary of the Gemstone Hideaway Hut reopening. So we're really excited about that. We're offering this as a fucking thank you to you guys for, you know, for, um, just for, for love in the gemstone hideaway hut. Like I worked there for a while. You guys know that. And then I moved. And so, um, I'm still going to be there periodically. I will still travel. But like I said, you guys have to make it worth my, worth my gas money because <laughs> it's a long drive. So book your reading, do your girl a favor, show me some love. Um, and the readings are going to be really dirt cheap for the anniversary, the one year anniversary. They're going to be like $20 and $30, depending on what you get. But like I said, I've, I've already got three to four people booked. So please book in advance, okay? We are accepting walk-ins, but um, the, it's not a guarantee that you're going to be able to see me. She's going to have other readers there. So she's going to put first come, first serve with whatever reader they choose. Um, if you walk in and you say, I want to have a reading with Chakra Bunny, she might be able to get you a reading with me. But if I have another client there that already scheduled a, um, an appointment, I'm, I'm, I won't, I'm not going to be able to guarantee that you're going to get that slot. And I'm going to take the people who have made appointments first before I take any walk-ins. So if you walk in and I'm reading for another client, you might have to wait two or three hours till I get my other clients out of the way. So please try to book in advance. Also, if you'd like to book a reading with me before I go to the Jamstown Hideaway Huts, um, all of my information is in the description box below my videos. You just have to click on, you know, the description box, click on the Goldie appointment link, and it will give you all the information that you need to book your reading. I love you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Bye.